So today we're going to be checking a Welchon blood pressure pump. Now this is a 42 NTP, I believe. Uh, that's the model. Uh, Spot Vital. Um, so the first thing we want to check here is, of course, power cord. So most common thing on every single piece of equipment in the medical. So. Run around, run your hand through, make sure that there's no cuts. Uh, make sure it's plugged in to the, to whatever out, outlet or whatever you have it in. Plugged in. We get our power supply here. And uh, so 120 goes in, 12 comes out. Now, make sure the charger. So I came, this was unplugged. Um, battery indicator here. When it's sawed like this, it's either fully charged or running on battery. Now these units need to, uh, I believe these need to have some type of battery charge in order for them to function. Um, so once you plug it in, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. There it is, our indicator, that means it's plugged in. We got power coming in, charging the battery. Um, quick check on these so we have a thermometer calibration key that's the part number there so for this one it's the older style which is this one here um, you have your thermometer here so you're gonna go ahead unplug here and toss it over to the side oh or fall down Go ahead and plug that in. So on this here, let's see if I can get a good picture. So my number is 973, uh, which should display there. So number 5, 97.3 or 36.3 Celsius. So here we measure in Fahrenheit. So all I'm going to do, pick it up. We have our indicator 3, 97.3 there. Another check. Um... We want to do just a functional check. And so go ahead and take out the calibration key. We're done with that. Go ahead and plug the normal one back in. Let's go ahead and take it out. Got there. Once you take it out, let's check in. Hold it to whatever um, body. So either oral. Uh, with the sleeve where I just put it in my shoulder or I mean my uh, pit so but the same but we know it's working there um, three have run it through it's an 86 six okay so next thing you do after that um, we're gonna check the blood pressure so this one this feature of this one is only temperature, blood pressure. That's it. Okay, so here I have my NIBP hose. This is a similar that we use. Uh, the SimCube SC5. So I have it in adult, 120 over 80. Uh, make sure it's calibrated, valid. Um, so that was my last reading there. So I'm going to go ahead and push it. So let it come up here. This is doing its thing. So I have the hose coming in here, teed off to the simulator over here. I have a blood pressure cuff in this this sleeve. So this this is made by Pronk Technologies, and they sell this as a kit. Uh, but this sleeve just basically keeps it compressed um, and simulates. This is going to simulate blood pressure. So. 120 over 83, so we're good there. There's a certain spec on every single machine. This one I've done for so long. Um, this one's good. Um, so usually, if if it's been off, like in this reason, if it's been off, I just do it a couple times. Um, meeting off, the machine was off. There's no no one has been here for four hours. Um, so just to get the pump up and running. Um, so we don't want to have that. Okay, so we'll let that run. Um, next is power cord here. I have it in two. 
my safety analyzer here rotate since this is a, a isolated circuit it is there. Um, this it does have the transformer there. Um, it's a double, considered a double uh, insulated, not isolated, insulated. So basically, we're not gonna be able to get a, a ground on here, a case ground there. Um, so on this one, we do we have a leakage, which is which is measured, which is measured in uh, microamps. Um, so here our leakage is 0.9, so either you go on this one, since this is Dell 601, so you go under earth leakage. So this is your resistance, which is through the ground. Um, so this one's earth leakage uses the ground. Um, this one you actually, once you put it on this one, enclosure leakage, you actually have to lift the ground. So, so basically on here, um, normal close which is uh, your neutral and here uh, if you could see a lift ground there it is there so you can push it okay so we got two and basically either here using the ground or you go here and lift the ground um, and that's basically preventive maintenance on here so this is good uh, we we change the battery since it just does use a lead acid battery um the battery is actually housed um so you go ahead and remove this screw this screw that screw that screw you untwist this here and uh this cover comes off or you can leave this take the screws off push this forward um whichever way it's easier for me to take it off and then go put it on my cart and uh flip it upside and remove the battery but anyways we do it every two years uh, just to maintain um, we recommend that it's always plugged in but uh, that's performing and preventive maintenance on a well challenge vital signs